Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Making Campbell and this is Making Stuff. So as you can probably see by the title of this video, I've gone and made either the bravest or the stupidest decision of my life. And I've decided to sign myself up for a 24 hour endurance mountain bike event, which is probably going to be the longest and toughest race that I've ever done in my life. So the race is called the Desert Dash and it's held in Namibia as it has been for quite a number of years. Now from what I can tell online, this race is a little bit different to your standard 24 hour endurance event. Usually with this type of event, you'll have a lap or a loop that is set out and you'll ride that loop continuously for 24 hours and at the end of which your laps will be tallied up and they will calculate the total distance that you managed to travel in those 24 hours. Now what makes this particular ride a bit different Different is that it starts in the capital city of Namibia which is Vintuk and it travels across a couple of mountain passes and through the Namib desert all the way to the coastal town of Swakopmund. Now over the years the route has been uh, changed somewhat initially starting out I think with about 360 kilometers this year it is going to be close to 400 kilometers. Now with this race all you have to do is complete it and your score will be the time that it took for you to complete it. So you don't have to ride for 24 hours total but the cutoff for finishing is 24 hours so if you finish outside the 24 hours then technically you didn't finish the race so being that i'm not a professional mountain biker or racer the aim for me and the goal is basically just to finish this within the allowed 24 hours now i'm not going to talk too much about the specifics of the event if you'd like to check it out i'll leave a link to the website in the description below as you can see there is 95 days and change left until the start of the race, which leaves me a little over three months to get prepared for it. Now, I'm not going into this race completely blind because I did in fact do this race last year. Only difference is last year I was part of a four-man team, so I do have a bit of an idea of what I'm getting myself into. If I add up the three stages that I rode, which was one, three, and six, they add up to roughly 170, 180 kilometers, which is pretty much half of the Desert Dash anyway. So I figured if I put in a bit more time and a bit more effort this year, there's no reason why I shouldn't be able to complete a solo this year. Now, after I finished the race last year, I did what most people do. I vowed that I would never do it again. And up until a couple of weeks ago, I still felt the same way. The only thing that changed my mind is a channel that I discovered on YouTube called The Vegan Cyclist. Now, I've never been an endurance race kind of guy, but watching his videos and the experiences that he went through with the extreme races that he's done, as well as the experience that I went through during the parts of the race that I did last year, really got me motivated to try this race again. And this time, I really wanted to do it as a solo, as it is a major challenge, both physically and mentally. And I really believe that there are great, valuable lessons that can only be learned by going through an experience like this. So with all that said, let's get into some details. So I signed up for this race on Friday last week, Today is Monday and I've officially started with my training for the Desert Dash. I did 41 kilometers this morning on my road bike, which is quite possibly the worst experience I've ever had. I've never ridden a road bike on the road before. This specific road bike I think is over 20 years old. I bought it last year for the sole purpose of using on my indoor trainer. It is an aluminum frame Scott USA um, AFD Elite, which I think stands for advanced fast dynamics whatever that means but being that i've never ridden any bike that isn't a full suspension it was quite a shock to my system it feels almost like i've been manning a jackhammer all morning now the idea was to start my training on that bike while i ready the bike that i'm going to be using for the race now what bike am i going to be using you might ask and it is the giant standing right behind me. Some of you who have been watching my channel might know that that is the bike that I restored and repaired last year. I'm not gonna go into too many details. Um, I've had that bike for more than 12 years. Um, last year I had a crack in the frame and I had to repair it and I decided to restore the bike while I was at it. If you'd like to see that, I'll leave a link to that video up here. But recently I've decided to give that bike to my son, so it is no longer set up for me. I've had to shorten the seat post so that I could get the seat down low enough so that he can ride it comfortably. And all the shocks have been 
almost totally deflated because he weighs probably a quarter of what I weigh. So I've decided to take the bike back. I'm going to put him back on his old bike, which is actually the correct size for him. And then I'm going to take my Giant and I'm going to spruce it up a bit and maybe do a couple of upgrades so that I can use that for the Desert Dash this year. Now, when I resprayed this bike, I basically just resprayed it with a clear Rust-Oleum over the bare aluminium and from a distance it still looks fairly good but upon closer inspection you can really see that the paint hasn't been holding up really well so i've decided i'm going to respray this bike again but this time i'm going to have it done professionally now i happen to have a friend who does spray bicycle frames and he does a really really good job of that and he has agreed to do a kind of a trade with me he suggested that if i build him some kind of jig that he can use to um, spray his frames more easily that he would spray my bike for free so as soon as i'm done with this video that is exactly what i'm going to do so in conclusion this video along with all the other videos that will follow regarding the desert dash are basically going to be about my preparation and my transformation while getting ready for this crazy race so this morning after i finished my ride i went ahead and i took some measurements my weight my circumference around my middle as well as some before pictures and footage which i'm almost too embarrassed to show you but it is what it is this is where i am right now hopefully with a lot of work and dedication I'll be able to get my fitness up and my weight down and get myself prepared for this race. So as of today, 6 December 2021, my stats are as follows. My weight is 113 kilograms. My circumference is 119 centimeters. And I feel almost sick just thinking about that. This is probably the heaviest that I've been in the last two years and I can't believe that I let myself go that far but with that said this is also not the heaviest I've ever been truth be told I have been struggling with my weight for probably close on 15 to 20 years basically most of my adult life over the last two years I'm cycling coupled with eating a whole lot better I've managed to keep my weight fairly stable and a whole lot lower than I used to be in my younger years but I'll leave it at that because I can keep you busy for days with that particular topic. So my aim is going to be to do a new update video every week. Today is Monday, so hopefully my next update will be next week, where I will also be hopefully seeing a positive trend to my aforementioned stats. So with all that said, I think that's it for now. There's probably a couple of things that I'm forgetting to say right now because I haven't scripted this but if you're interested in following me on this journey, which I'm sure is going to be quite a roller coaster ride, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And you might want to ring that bell so you get notified of my next episode. If you happen to have done something like this before and you happen to have any advice or tips that you could share with me to help me, feel free to share them down below. It may not look like it, but I am terribly nervous and perhaps even terrified of what I've just started here. But I'm really hoping that I managed to pull this off. So wish me luck and talk. Until next time, keep making stuff.